welcome to today's vlog. Today is a bit of a random last minute spontaneous idea we had to basically throw some camping stuff in the back of Raya's mum's car <laughs> and go on a bit of a one night camping adventure. Yeah, basically, you guys know, we live in vehicles. We've lived in a school bus, a van, the last like year and a half or so, we've just been in vehicles. And I was thinking of so many people have a car and a lot of people, there's some people that live out of their car full time, but at the very least, a lot of people can at least go camping for a day or two on the weekend with a car. We basically spent 10 minutes just walking around my mom's place trying to gather <laughs> random things. I don't even know what we packed to eat or anything. We'll see what we have, but yeah, come along with us, living out of a car for 24 hours. So Louie actually found this camping spot. What's this called? Like Magical Forest? The Magical Forest Farm. So clearly we just booked it based on the name. We found it on a website we've used before called Hip Camp, which is yeah. like cool places to camp out or like park your RV or car. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, something's oh. on track. Ooh. Um, I think we used this when we did our video with Kara and Nate on the school bus, right? Yeah, the place with the goat. I don't know really what to expect. I saw a few pictures. It was like really highly rated. Oh, by the way, we're in New York. Yeah, we're in... <laughs> if you haven't seen our last video, we're in upstate New York right now, visiting my mom in Hudson. This is like 30, 40 minutes away from Hudson. It's really beautiful this time of year. Like, I'm so happy that we're here. Yeah, it's so green and yeah, it's amazing. And Rai's been getting a chance to spend some time with their mom yeah. in the store. Oh. Okay. Where's the goats? There's some goats. Whoa. There's the goats. Hello. Here we go. Magical. Oh, you gotta get this sign. This is is magical. Oh wow. Magical forest farm. Oh my gosh, I want signs like that on our land. <laughs> yeah. There really are so many animals around. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's a, such a beautiful yeah. horse. <laughs> wow. Oh, here we are. Wow, these signs are amazing. Is that like welcome? Yeah. In different country, in different languages? Yeah. Bienvenidos. Oh. It's a little Oh yeah, we paid, for, we paid for this. When we booked this campsite, it gave us an option of paying $10 more to get loads of wood to have a fire, so that's what we did. So I'm going to chuck some of this in the back. I guess we should have bought a little hatchet or something. We have a butter knife. <laughs> we just found a free library on the left. Oh my gosh. We've got to walk back over here and check How? This, this is like the cutest place. Super, super cute. It is a magical forest escape it really farm. Is. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Magical Forest Farm. Farm. Is this us on the right? Is it number, number one? one? Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's us. Oh. So we need to make sure the car is flat for sleeping, which we've learned the hard way <laughs> with both the bus and the van. That feels pretty flat. That feels good? I think so. So this is a little trick we learned doing van life. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. And now this way. What is this app, by the way? It's just the iPhone app. What's it's it under, called? It's the same as... Um, measure, is it? Measure? Yeah, measure. And then, and then you can flip from measurements to level. There you go. This is our home for the night. <laughs> we have found a level spot. Yeah. We now need to unpack the car. We've got the wood that we just picked up. A little barbecue thing in case we don't want to cook in the fire pit. Can't 
camping chairs. See that? Oh, yeah. And then we need to set up the bed too before one, it gets dark, and two, the bugs come out because we don't have any screens or anything. Mm, <laughs> we didn't even think about that. No. I think I just got bitten by a mosquito. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> Where's the spider? Oh, it's running away. Do so you see on the ground? There's not even a big no, spider. A big no. I hate spiders so much. We're going to multitask right now. I'm going to start try and get a fire started. We've been watching a lot of Survivor recently, and starting a fire sometimes is harder than it looks. But I'm pretty confident with my fire starting abilities. So, I've got a box of matches. Haven't got any fire starters or anything. But I think some kindling. The wood's pretty dry. By the way, every time we watch Survivor, Louis always says like, oh, I can make a fire way faster than most people. So, this is the test. We'll see. I've got this. I think, like a lot of things in life, putting the prep work in before you execute a plan pays off. So that's what I'm doing right now. Today's vlog is sponsored by Anchor, and this is the Anchor 757 powerhouse. As you know, me and Raya have been living in our bus, doing van life for over 15 months, living completely off grid. And during this time, we have learned to massively appreciate having a good power system. The Anchor 757 powerhouse is an absolute beast of a portable battery with an output power of 1500 watts, and 1,229 watt hours of capacity. Just to give you an idea of how much that is, we can charge three laptops, both our phones, four camera batteries, and 40 sets of silent disco headphones all at the same time. I know that seems excessive, but I have got back into DJing recently and uh, plan on throwing some parties. Also, it's capable of powering microwaves, toasters, and even kettles. Our Anchor portable battery system came in handy so many times over the last couple of months during rainy season because we couldn't fully depend on our solar powered system. It would also work great as a backup for anyone to keep at home in case of a power cut. The long lasting battery technology is six times longer lasting than your average power station, which means you could use the battery up and recharge it every single day and it would last eight years of continuous use. That's pretty good long-term investment. Also, if that's not enough, it comes with a five-year guarantee. It also has super fast recharging technology, which means you can charge it from zero to 80% in only an hour. Anchor also have smaller capacity options like the 521 and the 535 powerhouses, which also have the same incredible battery technology. So, if you're looking for a portable power option for camping, road trips, van life, or as a backup for home, check out the Anchor 757 powerhouse in the description below for more info. Right, let's get back to the vlog. How are you feeling, Fire Pro? I'm feeling good. I, I use a few matches up and, and uh, I feel like I just need to put a little bit more prep work in. Just getting the best, driest kindling. with that one. Right, I think whilst that's like catching onto the bigger logs, we should settle the bed. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, so luckily the seats go all the way down. I feel like you can't really do this in a car that doesn't <laughs> do that. Um, although, they don't look fully flat. I think as long as we can Put our heads this end and our feet are going downhill. I'm just worried it might not be long enough. Well, it's definitely not going to be long enough. Yeah, it might be long enough. <laughs> let's, let's try Louis it. six foot five. That's the other issue with this. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we got. Okay, it's looking good. So this is a 
This is a single air mattress, but we did try it out and we do both fit on it. We're just going to be very cozy. And we cozy. couldn't have fit anything bigger because of the wheels on both sides. But we'll mm. make it work. <laughs> I think if we were doing this long term, we wouldn't use an air mattress. We'd find like yeah, a we memory foam or like something. Yeah, we would definitely build like a custom memory foam thing. But... All right, we're just taking the big battery out. We're probably going to have to use this to inflate the air mattress. It's gonna be cozy, <laughs> but I'm feeling good. Yeah. Shall I try shut this thing? Yeah. I mean the trunk. Trunk. Well, I think it works. I don't want to test it out now. No, we'll do it later. Because there's not much we can do if it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, we can move the front seats forward. We could. I think we're. Ha I'm happy for now. Yeah. It's definitely dinner time. Hey Siri. Where are you? this grill that we can roast the sausages on and in the morning this is how I'm going to make my coffee like this but I need to put some hot embers in here hmm how shall I get the hot embers I just need to get I need to get the bits from underneath oh this could work okay oh yeah it's a little scooper <laughs> he looks pretty ready oh nice perfect size No, don't burn that. You need that scooper. Okay. <laughs> this feels good. That feels good. What type of sausages are these? These are like field roast apple sausage or something. Something like that. Vegan. Obviously vegan. <laughs> of course. The good thing with vegan sausages is they're pretty much already cooked, so you just need to heat them up, right? Yeah, you won't get sick from undercooking them. Yeah. But we should put the top on so they get smoky. Yeah, that's true. Right, we've got the fire blasting. The sausage is cooking and Rai is preparing the other food. Do we have a fork or something? Yeah. I think I need to put more heat in here. Because we're having sausages and some other things, I don't know what we're having yet. But I thought it'd be cool to wrap them in bread, make some yeah, kind of like, hot, like dogs. hot dogs. Situation. Okay. We're in America. Why not? Oh, they are ready. Shall I shuffle, shuffle yeah. that one across? Okay. Nice. Here's your salad. Oh, thank you. We're gonna use these logs as tables because we don't have a camping table. So for dinner tonight, we've got our vegan hot dog kind of sandwiches um, with some guacamole, some salads, and then this. This is like gold right here. This is lutinitsa. It's Bulgarian and it's a spread that's like, it's like roasted peppers and eggplant and tomato and I don't know. It's almost like salsa and ketchup, but way better, like a hundred times better. I think it's like blended ratatouille. Yeah. Yeah. You could call it that. Oh. This is so good. And this with the hot dogs, it's gonna be unreal. Honestly, I was saying the other night, this is, I cannot believe that other countries don't know about this. Yeah. If you can get your hands on this, try it. If there's a local Bulgarian store to near where you live, yeah. go and find Lutinitsa. Exactly. <laughs> Thank 
you. A generous serving of Lutanitsa. Slap that bad boy in there. All right, taste test. Wow. Because it's, it's smoked, mm -hmm. it's smoked sausage. Mm. And obviously Lutanitsa. Oh. It is that time. Mm -hmm. We are winding down. Yeah. Look at the sky. It is beautiful. The stars are out. We're brushing our teeth. It's looking pretty nice back here. Check this out. It's our bed for the night. Do you think my electric toothbrush is broken? Yeah. Pretty loud, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. Okay, um, I took my trousers off and my shoes. Okay. Oh, this is very tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shut the door. Nice. Okay, let's see, can you stretch out? Uh, oh. My feet are touching. But this is probably um, the length of our bed in the van, right? Yeah, luckily, luckily, I don't need to lay straight. If I lay with my legs diagonally, like mm -hmm. this, we can spoon. Yeah. This will be comfy. I think that this can work. Okay, I'm getting in. Okay. Are you leaving your shoes outside? No, I put them in the floor. Okay. <laughs> this is so I'm taking my shoes off. This is literally like just a bed. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else here. Okay, I'm gonna Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can lay down flat. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, this is the perfect length for is me. Is it comfy? Yeah. Oh, okay. this is real nice. Let me see if I can get us both into shot. I haven't got the widest lens on because of the dark, but that's all right, isn't it? Oh, I, am I a potato? Okay, we'll wear this. Yeah, that's good. <gasps> that's wow. nice. This is actually pretty comfy. Yeah. Honestly, not so bad. It's more comfy than I thought. Mm. I don't think we could do much else in here other than sleep. I think we could build it out. I feel like we could do... But we couldn't have storage in the back here unless it was underneath. Yeah, underneath, yeah, yeah. So we couldn't have anything like beside us. Not while we're laying down, but we could We could have like big things that we move onto the front seats or something. Yeah. I think we could do a couple of weeks in a car. Yeah, we'll give you more feedback at the end of the video after we've actually slept for the night but yeah. right now this Not feels so pretty bad. good and it's been a lovely evening honestly yeah. so good just like eating sitting by the fire chatting playing the cards. stars oh my gosh oh it's so good i'm actually tired yeah I'm gonna maybe so good. maybe we'll get a little bit of work done are you comfortable sitting there uh, it's not ideal <laughs> for editing but check out these bird photos. The toucans are the ones. These if, are the ones. If you haven't seen this video, we'll link it down below. Unreal, I'm very mm. proud of these photos. And now you can visualize where <laughs> the video was edited. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is bright and early. I think we slept pretty good. Mm. I just don't like air mattresses in general. But mm. if this was like a memory foam mattress, mm. like our mattress in the bus, mm -hmm. I feel like it would have been good. We maybe should have left the windows open a little bit. We haven't opened the door. Oh wow, yeah, that pressure is so Yeah, actually, <laughs> there's like condensation on the windows. I don't know if you can see that. I've seen people, they have like these net things that you can like trap in the door. That would have been really good to have one of those because we could have left the window a little bit open. Yeah, I definitely woke up a few times in the night. I don't know if that was the air mattress or the car. Size-wise though, I yeah. feel like this could work. Yeah. I don't know why I've never really thought about sleeping in a car as an option because 
obviously like we could just this is kind of like we're just camping but in my head I've always thought like if you don't have a tent or a van or something you can't do van life mm. and you can't go and like have a weekend away but you totally can in just a normal car as long as the seats go down we don't even need to fix the back we can just drive somewhere else yeah we could drive spend in the night somewhere else 30 seconds yeah it's so good so I like that I, I actually like prefer this to like a small two-man tent mm. but I guess if we had a big spacious tent that'd be better but yeah but again setting it all up setting it down it's you're definitely like restricted to one space kind of mm. um, but we could just be in a different place every night in this we're gonna get up now make some coffee make some breakfast like to make a cup of coffee so I'm gonna see if there's any way of getting this fire started again I think I'm gonna try and boil my coffee like directly over the fire I just panicked big time then because I thought we'd left the coffee, but thankfully we found it. Brian found it. It's time to make morning coffee. Morning coffee now. I'm very happy. Woo! That's a strong coffee. Cheers to a beautiful morning. Good morning. For breakfast, we've got uh, what is a cinnamon raisin bagel with almond butter, hemp seeds, and a banana. Wow! Thank you so much. We'll make a full list of things that we wish we had at the end but one of the things is a table a little pop-up camping table and we're making do with some logs that we found we're just trying to get them level cheers <laughs> i don't like it <laughs> the smoke is following me everywhere no matter where i sit around the fire the smoke finds me <laughs> i don't like it Okay, we've just finished having breakfast and we want to pack up the car so we can go on a little adventure. So we're going to time ourselves, see how long this takes. Okay, you ready? I have the timer. Okay. Okay, ready? So, I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to see how long it takes to get everything packed up and ready to leave. Boop! Less than seven minutes. Done. Done. I guess that is the benefit of uh, sleeping in the car rather than like setting up a tent or whatever. Yeah. I've just put out the fire, doused it in water just to make sure because that's responsible camping. And we're just gonna drive back up towards the entrance and park up and have a little look around where all the animals are and the farm area. Maybe go for a little walk. We've stopped by the main farm house area where all the animals are. There's these two lovely dogs, one of which we were greeted by last night and one almost jumped in the car this morning, didn't yeah. it? Hello. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken, there's peacocks and horses and donkeys all within one. I heard the peacocks last night. Where are they? Oh, wow. Hello. 
Wow, it's speckled. It's like a Dalmatian horse. Oh, there's a pig! Right, there's a pig here. And the, I think the horse and the pig are friends. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at these beautiful animals. The dogs are friends with the peacocks. Oh, what the heck? I love how the dog's just going on a tour with us. Yeah. We just found the water station and the outdoor camp shower, which I wish we'd known about a little bit earlier. Wow, it's on a tree, that's amazing. I love it, shall I turn it on? I guess this one. Wow. This is cool inspiration for our outdoor shower in our land. Mm. I think having like a really basic one like that would be cool. I think I want the one from Kenya though. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> wow. Oh, you have to come see this. They've turned an old swimming pool into like a water feature. Wow. How cool is that? <laughs> I feel so at peace right now. Just waking up here. Oh, the view, the water, the animals. It's definitely a little insight into what living in Costa Rica during dry season might feel like. Because so far we've kind of just been waking up and like rushing around trying to get things done before the rain starts. But this feeling right now of just like we've got the whole day it's gonna be sunny the whole day and we have the whole day ahead of us to go on a hike or do whatever we want. That That's the life that we're building for ourselves in Costa Rica. So it's really exciting to feel this. And it's made me think, I'm currently working on like a 10 year plan or dream vision because I'm part of this like retreat group. And it's just got me thinking about the future a lot and being here. I love New York a lot. New York City is my favorite city in the world. I love New York State, the fact that we're just a couple hours away from the best city in the world and it looks like this and it's the perfect weather. The sun sets at 8.30. Um, I think I would love to own like a little piece of land, maybe just like this with a little lake and a view and we just build a cute little cabin up here or something. So whenever we come visit my family, we have a little somewhere to go. I don't know, why not? Why not dream big? Maybe that would be, yeah, the dream, to have a little cabin here, a little cabin in the UK when we visit Louis's family and our friends over there, and then our main residence in Costa Rica. That sounds pretty good. You ready to go? No. <laughs> we have to bring Callie here. She would love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love this fence just in case we need one for when we have kids and stuff. Something like this would be really cool, like it looks wild. And again, over here, more of these cute little signs. Oh my gosh, I love these. I definitely, definitely want these on our land. How the heck did this happen? I was hanging out with my chicken friend and the dogs came over and were pestering it, so I rescued it. <laughs> And I like put it on my shoulder. <laughs> Isn't she such a cute chicken? Yeah. I'm a surprise to show you. Oh yeah. Look at the roof. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Look at this majestic white peacock. Oh my gosh, it's so majestic. The dog just brought this over. What? I can't believe this is a this is a feather from that peacock. Well. So sadly, that's the end of our little camping adventure, mm -hmm. doing van life in the car. I honestly could do this for a, a couple of days, especially with access to a shower, toilet. I, I was gonna say a couple of weeks, I think we could do it. In the car? 
if we have a more comfortable bed, mm -hmm. I think we do a couple weeks. Like, yeah, if we had access to showers. If you didn't watch our van life series through Europe, we didn't have a bathroom or shower in that van, so you could check that out for ideas. But mainly we were like stopping at gas stations, especially ones where truck drivers um, shower, there's showers available. There's always a lot of people will get like a membership to a gym mm. or something. So there's lots of different options. I think if it was good weather and we had a yeah. little pop-up table, that means we could work and do stuff on our laptop when we need to. Ideally, we're just spending a lot of time in nature, but yeah. realistically making videos, doing what we do. But also coming to little campsites like this is really not expensive. It's no. like $20, $30 a night or something if you find the right one. So. I think it's totally doable to do something like this. And one of the bonuses of having the inflatable mattress, I was just thinking about this, is that it can fold right down into nothing and then you haven't got this big cumbersome mattress in the back. So we've like folded the seats back mm -hmm. and now it's like back to a normal car. It's just all in the boot trunk. <laughs> um, but if we had a big proper mattress, we'd probably leave the seats down and always have the bed in the back. Yeah. Which I think long term would be the better move. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, our friends Levi and Leah, if you don't watch them on YouTube, they are currently renovating a Prius that they're going to live in for a whole year in mm. a Prius. So make sure you go check out their channel if you're interested in things like this. Like I've been watching all their last few videos where they're putting in the storage and the bed and all that stuff. So they have lots of like really good ideas on how to make it work. Yeah, and I feel like what they're doing is showing that like the budget option of van life is so accessible. Exactly. It's going to be like amazing fuel economy because it's mm -hmm. a hybrid car yeah i think it's like one of the most economically fuel friendly mm -hmm. cars mm -hmm. plus it's like you know you're not doing a massive conversion but yeah i just w hope that this video can inspire you to just take your car take some like your duvet and pillows mm -hmm. and just go on a little weekend trip with some friends or even by yourself like I was saying to my mom, you should definitely do this. I don't know why you haven't done it before. Take our little dog and go on cute little camping yeah. trips. And it's just, yeah, it makes it so much more accessible to so many people. Yeah, and I think you're right. Like so many people have cars, but would never think of doing this. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. It's and it's super easier fun. than you think. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I would say essentials. Make sure you get enough water, obviously. Yeah. Food. Some kind of cooking, camping utensils. I really liked cooking and doing my coffee on the open fire. But even just having that cute little grill, yeah. having something like that would be perfect. And then, um, or even if you're not somewhere where you can have an open fire, having a little um, gas kind of camping stove. Mm -hmm. Some kind of cooler, I guess, if you have things that need refrigeration. Yeah, and then having like some kind of battery pack. Obviously, yeah. thanks again to Anchor for sponsoring this video. It's mm -hmm. been incredible. It's still at like 75% it said well, last night I was like, oh, should I unplug this thing? And it said there was still 100 hours left of me. So I was like, no, I think we're good. We could have plugged in way more than we did. But yeah, yeah being able to have like the plug in um, air pump for the air mattress, mm -hmm. charging laptops, phones, everything. Yeah. Uh, drone batteries, everything was incredible. And then, yeah, I think like some good camping chairs mm -hmm. and a pop up table. I'm trying to think of anything else you'd need. The nets for the windows I think would be really handy. Thankfully we didn't get loads of bugs last no, night, but yeah. we may have. And mm -hmm. I think as we're planning to do this road trip around uh, the UK next month or the month mm -hmm. after, I've heard there can yeah. be some bugs in Scotland. So we're going to... We're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> figure out some kind of bug netting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, you don't need much. I feel mm -hmm. like you can be pretty basic pretty simple mm -hmm. yeah we honestly didn't really prepare for this we just took our sheets off of the bed we were sleeping on took a few random things out of the fridge and came out here and it's been so fun and success I'm, for, for sure yeah i'm so glad we came because like this is like not very far from my mom's house and i never would have come here if it wasn't for this so i'm so glad we did mm -hmm. and i feel so relaxed now oh such a good start to the weekend. so if any of you go on a little night or two night trip on your card let us know in the comments down below how it goes if you have any tips things that you discover um and yeah thanks for watching <laughs> yeah and if you haven't already please subscribe for more mm -hmm. kind of van life alternative living um mm -hmm. adventures and just following us along on on our journey of life yeah exactly okay we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.